Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bob Goodlatt, and I've got a question for you. Are you ready to re-elect Matt Lord to the House of Delegates? Yeah. Yeah. I've had the privilege of knowing Matt and his family for many years, and for the last four years, have had the uh, privilege of uh, working with him as a great representative for Harrisonburg and Rockingham County in the Virginia General Assembly. You know, there are many issues that uh, intersect between uh, the federal government and the state government, and uh, Matt has been uh, a real leader for this area in the General Assembly. Uh, he is on the Agriculture Committee uh, in the House, as am I, in the House in Washington. And uh, we have worked together on issues like farmland preservation, uh, alternative fuel production for farmers. Uh, he's also been a leader in the legislature on law enforcement issues and on uh, education issues. In addition to serving on the Agriculture Committee, he also serves on the Finance Committee and the County, Cities, and Towns Committee. He brings uh, to agriculture a better background than I do, that's for sure. Mine was working in my father's restaurant. His working on uh, his family farm, a farm that has been in his family for more than a hundred years. It's a century farm. Uh, he's also a graduate of Virginia Tech uh, in the agriculture field. He stands for lower taxes. Believe me, that is a critical issue that we face in our country and our state today. He's a strong leader for family values. He believes in protecting private property rights. He's a strong proponent of the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution and has a voting record in Richmond to reflect that. And most importantly of all, in these very challenging times, he believes in individual responsibility, the free enterprise system, and limited government. These are all principles that uh, I am uh, proud to represent my constituents on the basis of and proud to support Matt Lohr uh, in his effort for re-election to the Virginia House of Delegates. It's also my pleasure this morning to uh, uh, welcome all of these outstanding elected officials who re and uh, party leaders who represent the uh, area in uh, Richmond and here locally as well. I'm not going to go through and recognize all of them because I'd get in trouble and leave somebody out, but uh, it is a strong testament to the confidence that people in this area have in Matt Lore when so many of the community leaders are willing to come and stand behind him as he announces his bid for re-election to the House of Delegates. But most importantly, uh, I am delighted that he is here with his family. He has a wonderful family. I have been on uh, his farm and uh, met his children, his wife, his parents. They are outstanding people in this community and have been for generations. Uh, most importantly, uh, no one can run for public office uh, and be a family man without the strong support of that family. And that's what he has. Uh, from the day he first announced his candidacy four years ago, uh, right through today, uh, his family has worked with him, stood behind him. I know as someone who has a family what sacrifices are made by the family uh, to uh, allow somebody in that family to serve in office. But it is also a rewarding opportunity for any family uh, to work in community service. And when a representative and elected official takes on that role, the entire family takes on that role. And that is especially true of Matt's wife, Andrea. She's part of a great team uh, that works for the people of Harrisonburg and Rockingham County. What she does to support Matt, what she does uh, to uh, help raise a family and run a farm uh, are all great, great contributions to his success in Richmond. In addition to being a great mother, she has also faced a great challenge here for the last several years, battling cancer three times, but always remaining very, very positive about uh, herself, her family, her future, and most especially about Matt and the work that he does uh, in Richmond. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming a great lady, a great person who helps people here in Rockingham County and Harrisonburg, Andrea Lohr.
Thank you, Congressman Goodlatte, for those very kind words. And thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us today. Matt and I are grateful for your support and your leadership in Washington, D.C. It's hard to believe that these past four years have passed since we all stood in this same spot and Matt announced his candidacy for the House of Delegates. Now at that time, I was about two months pregnant with our little boy Carson, and now he's three and a half years old and he's running around wild. Carson was only two months old when Matthew got elected, and so it's my gauge on how long he's been in office. And the little wild man's back there right now, so you can see him firsthand. I stood by Matthew back in 2005, and our family is continuing to stand beside of him today. Matt is a good man who truly cares for other people. He wants to help solve people's problems, and he gives his very best and all of his heart to this job every single day. And I'm very proud not only to have him as my husband, but to also have him be my delegate and the delegate who's representing my children and those values. These past few years have not always been easy. As you know, I have been battling breast cancer for the past several years, and it has not always been a very easy road. Over the past couple of months, we've heard people ask if Matt would continue serving because of this. And some have even said that Matt should not keep serving because his family should come first. So I wanted to personally address this issue this morning. So there is no doubt that our family is in this race. Our family is 100% behind Matthew and we support him running again with all of our heart. He works very hard in this job as a delegate, but he also keeps his family as a top priority. Cancer is a very tough disease, and I'm not going to stand up here and say that it isn't. But the thing that you don't know about the Lords, or maybe you do, is that we are fighters. We are hard, strong people who are ready to take on this battle. And we're moving on with our life. My chemo treatments seem to be working, and we're very faithful that hopefully there might be a day where my cancer will be completely gone for good. It's very hard to describe to someone who has never had to deal with this difficult disease that a positive attitude, a strong faith in God, and just continuing to move forward in your life is really the best approach to help not only myself, but my family, and more importantly, my children see what a true fight is all about. Matthew has demonstrated that he can be a great husband and father while tackling the job of serving in the legislature all in one time. It's interesting because my cancer, although it has definitely proposed a lot of things in my life that maybe are tough, it has also opened the door for me to be able to be an inspiration to others, and that is my hope, and to be able to take what I have gone through and help other people who are currently fighting and battling the very same disease. And I actually get many phone calls like that, not just about legislature issues, but also about cancer issues. And that is something that of course is dear to my heart. And it's something that hopefully I can use in Matthew serving as a delegate as well. We want to thank everyone for your prayers and your support. I cannot begin to tell you how fortunate we are to live in the Shenandoah Valley and for Matthew to represent Rockingham County and Harrisonburg in this district. Everyone has reached out to our family and we want to really say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that everyone who hears this or reads this will understand that I support Matt in this race. I love him and we want him to continue serving the fine people here in the 26th district. We need leaders like him that are willing to fight for what he believes in, who are willing to take a stand for what we know to be right and will be willing to serve in very challenging times right now, not only, only in the Commonwealth, but in the United States. 